go back. We relax, hand tie in the back. On the low, counting racks, not running the pack. They show you. Alright guys, so in this video today, we're going to be talking about the biggest internet troll, aka Jake Paul, because he's at it again with his fuckery. Recently, he came out with a video saying, I donated 200k to my favorite Twitch streamer, Insane Reaction. And I mean, you can do whatever you want with your money. If you're a millionaire, you can throw all the money that you want to anything. I don't give a fuck if you buy the newest pair of Yeezys that cost a goddamn arm and a leg. But I mean, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. But in this specific situation, he's over here saying that he donated to his favorite Twitch streamer. But on the thumbnail, he has a photo where he obviously photoshopped a $200,000 amount. He's kind of copying Mr. Beast, I believe. Um one of the youtubers that's been recently coming out um donating money to smaller um streamers and everything like that shout out to that dude but obviously he's gonna copy what he's doing because he has to stay somehow relevant on youtube if you know what i mean so on the thumbnail a said video where he says that he donated 200k to his favorite twitch streamer there's a picture of ninja on the thumbnail so your automatic assumption is hmm i think jake paul is gonna donate money to ninja but that's not what happens at all Ninja was nowhere in the video. Another thing that also pisses me off about this whole video and everything that Jake Paul uploaded is, the video is 18 minutes long. He does not get to the donating portion until about 12 minutes in. At least two ad rolls have hit me already. Where the fuck is the donation portion of this video? I was just confused the whole time getting hit with advertisements left and right. Like, um, excuse me, um, is this video not gonna have anything about donating? Um, because it was just about random things, him going to school, him plugging merch nonstop and all that. But anyway, once we made it to the 12 minute mark, we actually got to the portion of the video that I was looking forward to. I'm like starting to get a little bit nervous, but I just want to say like Chance and Anthony, I'm so proud of you guys and, and how far you've come and like you... Then we get to a portion of the video where he says, Chance and Anthony, I'm so proud of you. Wait a minute. So you're not donating to Ninja. Ninja is nowhere in this video. So you're gonna donate all this money to Chance and Anthony. What the fuck? Named Reckless9845. What's my nickname be? Maybe fucking liar? I'm watch I wanna watch him win though. I, what do I, it's like, what do I do? Honestly, I'm a little surprised. My boys' um, clickbait levels are exceeding over 9,000. My boy is turning super sane with these goddamn clickbaits. Another thing about the video that rubs me the wrong way is that, like I said, he didn't have to put Ninja in the thumbnail. He could have just simply said, um, I donated 200k to my favorite Twitch streamer and probably like used their picture or probably used a, a, a mystery picture. I feel like it would have been cooler if he actually like made a bubble with a question mark so people could actually click the video to see who it is but don't put ninja on the thumbnail and then ninja's nowhere to be found and it's like this whole video itself i i could imagine how much it, um people it pissed off because of the because of how strong the clickbait factor was people hopped on the video to see if he was probably going to really donate to this guy and then nothing really happened i don't know if jake paul is running out of video ideas but honestly he's gonna have to step his shit up another thing that i noticed recently also when i was on twitter is that Apparently Logan Paul he is he has now made a Twitch account. Apparently Logan Paul and Jake Paul are going to start some sort of like Twitch community and they're going to start like this whole gaming section. And right now honestly it's making me sad as fuck because i'm a gamer myself i love being in the gaming community i love to see all the twitch streamers and, and youtube streamers doing whatever the hell they got to do but if these guys are going to jump into the gaming territory they're just gonna fuck everything up like they've been fucking everything up like the past couple of years another question that i have when it comes to this whole donation situation that i understand he's donating to chase and anthony but here's my question I know he's doing this all for video, I know he's doing this all for views, I know he's doing this all for clickbaits and all for fun. At the end of the day, when he actually donated to them about $200,000, did they actually get to keep it or did he actually go up to them after said video and probably was like, hey man, um, can I get my $200,000 back? I don't know, I feel like Jake Paul is the type of dude to do some scummy ass shit like that. Come on, everyone in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys really think because I feel like he would do some scummy shit like that. He'll probably be like, all right, cut, let's edit this shit. He probably walks back to the room like, hey, um, Chase and Anthony, how, how, how you guys doing, man? Um, so I was the dude that was actually donating all this money to you. Um, go right now into your PayPal and please refund it to me, please. Like, <laughs> well, I can imagine their facial expressions like, Nani Surune? What the fuck, bro? <laughs>
And so this is the part where I put my two cents on the situation of this video. Um, I think it was bad that he clickbait ninja on the thumbnail. I mean, I know it's YouTube. I know it's a it's a clickbait community. You got to do what you got to do to get that money and get them views. But at the end of the day, this is like some level 9000 type clickbaiting. Um, to just put someone on the thumbnail and then the person is nowhere to be seen in the video. It's kind of ridiculous. As for him joining Twitch and um, him, Logan Paul, I believe that they're going to be joining Twitch now. I mean, in a way, I feel like it's a positive and it's a negative. Um, in a way, it's a positive because they get to actually bring in more people into the gaming community. Um, they get to bring in more people to join Twitch or YouTube gaming or anything like that because now everyone is starting to see the potential of that kind of stuff. But then at the same time, you're going to bring a lot of cancerous 13 year olds running into stream chats and shit using their mom's credit cards, probably freaking making large donations then out of nowhere the niggas getting charged back and shit i mean it's just it's just a, there's a bunch of positives and a bunch of negatives through this whole situation but anyway guys let me know what you think hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream peace out